I will start from the beginning so they understand this very clearly because it seems to me that our people do not understand the enormity or should I say the spiritual enormity of what we are doing. Everything that the zoo called Nigeria has done to Biafrans, Nigeria itself is witnessing right now. My dear brothers and sisters from the Yoruba land that I happen to love and cherish very much, today they are being killed. They are under the same invasion that their friends suffered. Theirs is a bit more humiliating and more subtle because whereas Biafra was invaded with a standing army that enjoyed international recognition and international support, they are invading Yoruba land with a ragtag band of terrorists. It is an insult. Yoruba people are dying today. Every ethnic group is under siege. All those who got together to rise up against Biafra today, they are crying. The same cries of our mothers and our fathers between 1966 to 1970. is the same cries we are hearing today all over Nigeria. But they will not learn. Because I now begin to believe, if I never did before, that there is something that God Almighty in heaven, Chiko Kika Biyama, is trying to do with Biafra. If you go to the Bible, I'm very happy that we have a scholar of um, of religion here. You also, you're a PhD holder, is that correct? Is that correct, Reverend Father? You are a PhD holder. You're a theologian. Absolutely. Very good. Not all this cut and paste, um, Jesus is coming tomorrow ministry. Mm -hmm. They, he actually studied. He went to school to study theology. In the Bible, we were made to understand that as all these afflictions were befalling the children of Egypt and Pharaoh at the head of it, they still turned a blind eye and they became deaf to the warnings coming from heaven until they lost their first sons. Everything since 2015, when darkness ascended the throne in Asorok, every event, every happenstance since then has pointed to one inescapable fact, that Nigeria is not an entity, it is not one and can never be one. It has pointed to the fact even before then that all those ref do you know the reason why they don't call um, people in refugee camps and they're not refugees? Does anyone know why they don't call them refugees from here? Do you know why they don't call them refugees? Because they are ashamed of what I told them. I cursed the zoo called Nigeria in 2013 that everything that Biafrans went through, Nigeria will go through it. Because of that, they quickly changed the name from refugees. They used to call them refugees before to IDPs, internally displaced people. And I'm asking them, when during the Biafran war, they were calling Biafrans refugees, we are we displaced outside? We were, we were inside our own land, inside the so-called British created contraption called Nigeria, we were refugees in our land. People, my, I was very young by then, we, the time we left Omaha, we left Omaha and went to Mbise as refugees. I was on a bicycle and being pushed all the way from Omaha by leg to Mbise, where my aunt was married. Is it Mbise to repress us? Isn't it? Do you know that in their own time, there are many people in the northern part of the zoo who are in refugee camps? But out of shame, because that will remind them of what they did during the war against Biafra. They are calling them internally displaced persons. So you would not know. That's what they have done. That is number one. They came to Biafra land. They were killing people, dropping their bombs from the air. People were running helter skelter. Children were being murdered. Mothers were lamenting. Everybody was crying. What do you think that the bandits are doing to them today in the north and in the... Have you seen what they happened in, in, in Katsina a few hours ago? Of course, the same thing. People are running for their, their lives. Villages are being taken over. 
children are being killed and are being abducted right across the entire zoological republic. Punishment from Elohim. The same army that they had that came to our land to kill, to pillage, to abduct, and to steal, they are there and they are impotent. They cannot do anything. You know, the funniest thing about the fallen Janjaweed is that they think that they are, uh, uh, they are very clever. They think they are, they are cheating every other person. But from within, they are dying. And that is why I say to our people that they shouldn't despair. I had some people analyzing and trying to to, to say or convince themselves that defending our land from within is a bad thing, that we are fighting a defensive war, not an offensive war. And I said to them, because insofar as they are not very good students of contemporary history, they are not very good students of military politics either. And why do I say that? God has marked out Nigeria for destruction. And put it down today, there is nothing anybody can do to change that. And a lot of people are going to die in the process. What I'm praying to God is that not to allow up to 5 million of them to die. That was, that I'm giving you the figure that was, that was even a very conservative figure by Irish ministers. That we that said we lost nearly five million people. I believe that God is setting up Nigeria to eliminate over five million of them. And he is going to use the same people that connived and came into our land to kill us to do this very job. And that is why every day in Nigeria, as long as Biafrans, as long as they hold on to Biafra in Nigeria. Nigeria will no longer know peace. People will die every blessed day in Nigeria. If they bring their aircraft to our land as they did in Olo, their own military aircraft will crash and all of them will perish. Why I'm saying this is because we know they are fallen. They are Janja with Britain is, um, is uh, supporting them. They cannot see the errors of their ways. They cannot see the foolishness of all these endeavors they've been backed upon. But one thing is absolutely clear, that there is nothing any human being can do to stop the emergence, or should I say the restoration of Biafra. Absolutely nothing of that I can assure you. Therefore, Fulani Janja with those of them in Asarok, Mietiala, all these terrorists running the lives of those in the zoo into the mud, I have this to say to you, the more you cling on to Biafra, the more you will move from one calamity to another, the more the state of insecurity will become so uncontrollable that people will begin to eat the flesh of those they feel are weaker around them. As I'm saying it now, it may sound like a fairy tale, but the day it will happen. Some people, very clever dear friends, will make reference to this very broadcast of this very day, the 21st day of February in the year of our most high Elohim 2021 that I said such a thing. You see, I want to warn everybody that calls him or herself a Nigerian, that the more you don't allow Biafra to go, the more you conspire, the more you keep dreaming this foolish dream of one Nigeria, being one, moving forward, the more you are burying yourselves even deeper into a conflagration, into a conflict that you cannot be able to manage. These are the things that we want the world to understand. And that is why those of you who understand military strategy, not those who are on social media yapping, will understand this. I have said it before, and allow me to repeat, that there is a method to our madness. What I, I said before, that I don't want Nigeria to exist at all. So what we are going to do is that we are going to draw the enemies into our land, into our forests, and into our bushes, and we're going to kill them. In their homes where they come from, terrorists and bandits will take it over forever and ever. If you doubt me, just spend some time and study Somalia, what is happening today. Spend some time and study what is happening in Yemen today. The same scenario is going to obtain in the northern part of the zoo. The Fulani do not know what they're in for. Over very many years, they presided over, should I say, generations of Alamajiri and Janjaweed. 
that never went to school, their own children were sent abroad to go and study. These people do not have access to any meaningful livelihood, but the children of those that tell them to go and destroy Igbo businesses in the north, they do. These Janjaweed and Alamajri that they have on the streets doing their bidding do not have access to the niceties of life the same way that these, their so called MS and their governors do. And all of them are Fulani. The Hausa people are very poor. Even Hausa will revolt against Fulani one day in this week. Mark my words somewhere. And we have come to defend our land with the Eastern Security Network. And we are not going to stop that very effort. We cannot lower all this nonsense about amnesty and all that rubbish. No. We are not going to lower our guns until Biafra is restored. No Jupiter. I say no Jupiter. We have only two options. Either we get Biafra or we all perish in the process. But we know because we are serving a living God in heaven that he is going to give us Biafra. And there is nothing any human being can do about it. Biafra is a done deal. And that is why the devil keeps going into some people to try to distract them, to try to take them away from what we are doing because uh, Lucifer doesn't want them to participate or partake in the glory that is to come, which is the restoration of Biafra. Therefore, I am warning the entire zoo, the zoo army, the zoo police, that anything you do in Biafra land, just wait a few days, you will hear there's something happening where you come from. You came to Olo using helicopter to be shooting and bombing people, helicopter gunships. Today, your aircraft has come down. Those that they claim are intelligence officers, they are all dead. And many of you are going to die. Look at Femi Additional. Is he okay? Many of you are going to die. All I'm waiting for is for one idiot to come out to say, oh, it is me. Was it last week that one that said, over my dead body will Biafra come? Is he not dead? Is it Junaid Mohammed? Over my dead body will Biafra come? Is he not dead? All of you are going to die. I'm waiting for them to announce, to say that this is now the leader of the Flani Cabal running the zoo. I will place a curse on you live on air, and within six months you'll be dead. That you may know that Elohim sent me. Some of you don't understand the spiritual dimension of what we are doing. You think we are just fighting for Biafra. No, we are fighting for the restoration of the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth. That is why every force of iniquity is against Biafra. That is why anybody who is against Biafra is a child of the devil. It doesn't matter who you are. Once you are against the coming of Biafra, believe you me, you are a child of the devil. And that very end or conclusion to your life that you're looking for, you are going to get it. I will start from the beginning again by way of recap. Everybody, all those who ganged up, people from uh, Danjuma's village, those from Gowon's village, those that ganged up against us, those from Awolowo's village, everybody that ganged up against Biafra, go to their villages today and see what is happening. They are being killed and their land being taken over. And you say that God Almighty is not with us. Of course, he is with us and will be with us to the end because we know that victory is assured. It doesn't matter. You see how powerful Britain is. They are um, one of the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. You see how much the Fulanis have, over $30 billion. We raised $70,000, they tentatively speaking, give or take. With seventy thousand dollars that we that's the only one fundraising, other people raise funds in Asia and every other place. I'm sure that by the time I'm leaving the United the US, if we tally everything that people have placed and what they are going to bring, it is very close to half a million dollars. The reason why I'm saying this is I want you to compare what we are doing with what our enemies have. I came to the US. If everything is put together, we might be able to raise about half a million US dollars. Of course, we will not even, because America is trying, to be honest with you. You people are now beginning to wake up. Compare half a million dollars to 30 billion US dollars. They have everything going for them. They have the might of the British lobbying for them. 
They occupy every sensitive diplomatic position around the world. They have well-oiled consultancy firms. These are blue chip firms working for them all over the world. They bought over Google, gave them money. They bought over Facebook, gave them loads of money. The only people they have not bought so far is YouTube. And I'm sure very soon they may buy them over as well. And I don't know how far they have gone with Twitter, if they have succeeded in buying Twitter over as well. You see all that money they have, all these powers that they wield. They have the Nigerian army, the Air Force, the Navy, and all of that. All of you will be surprised to see all these entities crumble before your eyes before the coming of Biafra. You see Britain. You see what is happening in the zoo today with people that walked or conspired against Biafra the way they are suffering. People from the Middle Belt, the same people that fought against Biafra, they are the ones who are being slaughtered today. Have you seen all of that? You see Britain, United Kingdom, God will divide it. God will divide Britain into four. England will be on their own, Wales will be on their own, Scotland will be on their own, and Ulster, of course, they will join their brothers, the Irish Republic. Go and write it down somewhere. But when these things are happening, people will see it as a natural consequence of day-to-day -day politics. You will not know it is a divine order from heaven. Since Britain came to Biafra land to divide the children of light, God will divide them. Watch and see what I'm telling you. The same way today, the same way today, as I'm saying this thing to you now, you see your governors that you have, those you call your leaders, those you know, Haneza, has he done on everybody now that these people are even worse than Buratai? They are worse than the lowest form of Fulani, Janjawi, they are worse than Mietiala. Has he done on everybody now? In the north, their own governors are busy in the go every day. And we have asked this question many, many times. How come Sheikh Gumi is able to trace where bandits are, murderers, rapists, that kill innocent people every day? And he went there with the uh, 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 secretary to the government. Uh, well, what's SSG? Is it? What is the meaning of SSG in the zoo? Is it the senior? Is this secretary to the state government? The, the Fulani governors will bring out their secretary to state government to go with somebody they claim a very filthy, dirty looking animal that they call a sheikh. Why a black man is a sheikh in Africa is beyond me. The only thing I, uh, the only I know who are sheikhs are Arab people. But uh, let's forget that for one second. They went and they found where the bandits are. They found the bandits in the forest. Now, Nigeria Air Force cannot find them. We are asked in our own place. I want people to understand the enormity of the crime of Hopus Odemma and your so called governors and your so called political leaders, and of course, Ohaneze and Yara Nandoshi. Has Ohaneze issued any statement since the bombing of Olu? Have, they, have you heard them say anything? Ohaneze has not said anything to tell you who they are working for. To tell, when we are complaining about George Obioso, most of you didn't quite understand what was happening. Has uh, your eyes now opened? All those idiots answering on Hanez, and Yoshi, both their elders and their children, have you seen how evil they are? Have they said anything? Somebody was like, do you think you can go to the north and bomb a village and the governors will keep quiet? Jonathan bombed Boko Haram, killing people, bombing and slaughtering Innocent civilians. The whole of the North rose up as one. This is against a renowned global terrorist group. People can come to our villages in Olo and kill people and everybody is quiet. Whereas in the North, whereas in the North, people who are murderers are being, uh, should I say, uh, serenaded by their governors.